everybody welcome back to my channel in today's video I am going to show you how I created this Valentine's Day inspired look oh, Valentine's Day love hearts cupids it's just all pink and purpley to me so I thought it would be fun to create a cute little Valentine. and if you guys are interested in seeing how I created it keep on watching grab some coffee and let's get started now let's start with the priming we're taking a fair amount of primer and this is the professional by benefit and you just take whatever primer you want and just work it into your entire face don't forget your neck and throat just because we're gonna apply some foundation there so the lines are not too harsh in between your skin color and your foundation so we're just working this in okay this face is primed so we're going in with the foundation the foundation i use is the maybelline 24 hour foundation in the shade 110 porcelain so we're gonna shake it up a little bit put about a pump and a half onto the back of my hand and just take a damp beauty sponge and just start bouncing it all over the face to just get the product everywhere as y'all can tell, I had a rough night, so we gotta get rid of those dark circles. And now, we are just gonna blend this out. Okay, we're already looking better. So next is concealer. The concealer I like to use is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C2. So we're just gonna apply it because I gotta get rid of these dark circles. Oh yes. So I gotta put a lot under my eyes. But... We're looking good. And now, let's buffin it out again. So since this face is concealed, we are taking setting powder, which is the Makeup Revolution Bake and Finish Luxury Baking Powder. So we're taking this. I like to just dump a little bit of product into the pan. Take the same wet beauty sponge and just dab it in. Get product onto the beauty blender and just apply it and work it into everywhere that you just concealed before. Okay, setting powder is applied and now we just wait a little bit and continue. So the setting powder has settled into the skin for quite some time. So now it's time to remove that one. So we're just taking a big regular powder brush. I like to use the Sigma F30 powder brush, large powder brush. And you can just sweep it away, get rid of all the excess powder. And what I like to also do is just take some loose powder, in this case it is the Ellen Batrix Loose Powder in Transparent Natural. So we're just gonna open her off, take a little bit of product, dip in gently, and just work it into the skin with the setting powder. So, as you all can see, I don't look as tired anymore. You can still kind of see where the dark circles are, but you know, the way your skin is shaped can't really change. But we're looking a little more awake, a little more fresh. 
So we don't need to drink all the coffee in the world today to look a little better. Next, we're going to bronze that face. And I am going to use probably my favorite bronzer ever. It's the Marc Jacobs. This one, the All Mega Blondes bronzer in the color Tintastic 104. So this bad boy we're using, which is huge, absolutely huge. Like, I love the mirror. You can just, you know, bring it into your purse and just check your entire face. That mirror is big. So, let's get started. Taking a brush, whatever brush you like to apply bronzer with. I'm using an F20. It's a dual fiber brush. Um, so I'm just gently tapping into the product. Then once I'm done applying the bronzer all over the areas that I would like to just, you know, define a little more, I just take the same powder brush and just, you know, buff it and blend it out a little more. Okay, now we're looking good. Next is blush. I like to use a very subtle lighter pink blush, so we're going to go in with the Tarte blush in the shade Captivating. So this is a very cute pinky shade. So we are just taking a blush brush, dab in, and just apply it to the apples of the cheeks. And we're looking cute. Next on the agenda is filling in the brows. I like to use the Cabrow by Benefit. It's a brow gel comes with a little brush on top and you just take it apart so it's really nice so oh not to forget my shade is number three it is a little darker than my you know hair color well it, it's about the shade of my roots um, so that's perfect so I just go in take my mirror and just take small streaks to imitate the brow hair the natural brow hair and just fill it finished filling in the brows we're taking another product it is the 24 hour brow setter by benefit so this is just an eyebrow gel that just keeps my eyebrows in place all day long so we're just applying that on top to make sure my eyebrows don't stick up crazy or just look funky so this is pretty much it for the foundation of the face now we can focus on our cute little Valentine's Day date eye look. Eyeshadow base, I am applying the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. So we're just taking that and apply it directly onto the eyelid with the wand and just blend it out. So now our eyelids are all primed and prepped and ready for the eyeshadow. So the eyeshadow palette we're using today is the Norvina by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And we are going to go in starting with the shade base. So we're just taking a normal flat eyeshadow brush, dab in a little bit and just apply the pigment and the color all over our eyelids. We're done with that. We're taking a big, big fluffy blending brush and dab into the shade Love. Just dab in ooh, once or twice and just start blending her out into your crease. Go blend it up towards your brow as well to give it a more blended complexion on your entire look. Now we're done with blending this shade out. So we are going to go in with the next shade. We're gonna dab into Passion, but just very, very slightly. Just one little time. Get, get rid of the excess eyeshadow and just try to keep it into the crease and in the outer corner of your eye. So 
So now since we're done blending out that shadow, we're going to go in with a smaller shader crease brush. This is the Sigma E47 and we're tapping into drop. Uh, we're just going to give it one or two little dabs. Just dab it right into the crease. And just blend it up. Once we're done blending this out, you can just take any angled clip brush and just, you know, blend it out a little more. Just to soften the edges. We're good for now. So next, we are taking just any regular eyeshadow brush. Take the concealer and get a little bit of concealer onto the brush and cut the crease. So the crease is cut. So now we're taking, I just like to go in with the same brush because it's already moist and we're tapping into Wild Child. Ooh. And we're just tapping the pigment all over the concealer. Look at that pink glow. Yes. As usual, if there's any fallout, take your big, big fluffy powder brush and just sweep it away. Next, to you know, soften over the edges a little bit. We're gonna go into Celestial. Celestial, Celestial. You know which one I mean. And just go over the edges between Wild Child and the Passion and Drama mix. Under eye, I like to go in with a clean angle brush. Just dab into love. And just bend it out. Next, with the same brush, we're gently, gently, gently tabbing into passion. Keep it on the outer corners. It's Valentine's Day. Next, we are going to go in for the under eye wild child. So we're taking a small pencil brush, dab into wild child, and just put it on the inner corner and under the eye. Next, with the same little pencil brush, we're going to dab into dreamer to put that on the inner corner to make the inner corner shine and pop a little more. Next we're going to take a small eyeshadow brush, dab into Dreamer and just slightly highlight the brown. And the eye look for now is complete. So let me curl my lashes, apply some mascara, and I'll be right back with you guys. Lashes are on. And now to the next part. We are going to apply highlighter. I am obsessed with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Platinum Eye Skin Frost Pro Palette. So we are going to go in with the shade Lavender Snow. Who doesn't love a purplish highlight for a Valentine's Day look? So just take your highlighting brush. I take a powder sweep. This is just, you know, whatever brush you feel comfortable with to apply your highlighter. So I am dabbing in to the shade. Yes, we love a shine. And we're done with the highlight. 
Next is lips. So next we're gonna go in with a Jeffree Star Cosmetics liquid lipstick in the shade Flamboyant. This is one of his metallic shades. This was the part of the Summer Chrome collection, I think two years ago. So I just like this pinky sparkle, and especially for Valentine's Day, you never have enough pink and purple. So we're gonna shake it up and start applying. Lipstick is on, super cute, super sparkly. And next we're setting the face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. So we just shake it up and start setting. Wow. Yes. So guys, this is the completed Valentine's Day look. If you enjoyed this video, if you liked the look, leave the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe because more videos are coming. And I can't wait to see you next time. Bye, guys.